Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United, and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Vladimir Kuval. Rice. This attack looks highly promising. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Well, the attack looks promising. Making sure it didn't get past him. Wonderful chance! And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start! Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So West Ham get us moving again, and a swift response required after the setback. For Niles. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? Well, by the letter of the law, that had to be a dismissal. Well, he can't complain about that. It's a reckless challenge. he'll be a bit cross with himself based on that free kick not the execution he was looking for and room now out on the wing in it goes he's made it a brace for himself no stopping him apparently Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Craig Dawson, and well, he was in the right place to intercept. Ball's gone. Christian Eriksen threads it through. He's got to clatter it away. And problem solved for now. Antonio. Oh, in with a chance. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Christian Nurgard. Baptiste. Antonio. 
And the counter attack is on. Options available. Lanzini. At times they make passing look easy. Could reduce the deficit. Marvellous anticipation. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. And over from Ericsson. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Robbed them. Ericsson. He has time to play it over. Ericsson. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Breaking at pace. Well, that is an end with a real chance. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, the keeper not thinking it through. Can he put it in? Lanzini! Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway here, and West Ham left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Can they respond? Lanzini. Declan Rice. Aaron Cresswell. Lanzini. Antonio. And he did well to cut it out. Can they hit on the break? Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Substitution time it is. Declan Rice. On the ball, Job. Antonio. Lanzini. Suchek. Vladimir Kulval. Lanzini. Antonio. Could pull one back here. Oh, should have done so much better from there. Lanzini. And here's Fornals. And this would reduce the deficit. A goal! As they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. West Ham still trailing, but this game very much alive as a contest again.
Henry. Losing possession. Declan Rice. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Lanzini. Happy to take on the shot. And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Taken short. Plays it back. Able to get a body in the way. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, West Ham have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes, creating chance after chance too. You have to feel the pressure is going to tell at some point. It's no less than they deserve. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. I don't see what attacking position. It's not too late for them. Just ten minutes remaining here. And Birmo. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Fed over towards the back post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Electing to cross into the centre. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Well read to win possession back. Jensen. Mbermo. Lost possession. Said Benrama. The whistle for full time and a bad day at the office as far as West Ham are concerned. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.